Better late than never for upwards of 200,000 Utahns who will now have a chance to uh, obliterate some uh, or in some cases all of their criminal histories. You know, they've uh, done the crime, done the time, and uh, now they'll be able to again uh, start uh, things with a clean slate. And that is huge when it comes to applying for a job or advancing your life uh, on many levels. The goal of all of this is to relieve some of the long-term effects for folks who have repaid their debt to society. That's very specifically for nonviolent misdemeanor offenders who have remained crime-free for the five- to seven-year waiting period. We went back 15 years, and there were 14,000 people who could have benefited from this kind of a process. The data shows us that if you go four years without committing a crime, your, the, the, your propensity to commit that crime is no different than you and I, yet they continue to pay a price. There was a delay, however, in getting this all into full effect. The law passed in a unanimous vote back in 2019. It was supposed to go into effect the very next year in May of 2020, but it was delayed for logistical reasons. And then, of course, at that point, we were smack dab in the middle of the pandemic. State is now working on a public education campaign and also a website that will allow folks to kind of track their own criminal history, if indeed they have one, and to see if they are eligible to wipe it clean. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.